Clipper is quickly becoming one of the most popular upgrades for your 3D printer, and for good reason. It's jam-packed with tools and features to help you push your printer to its max potential. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps I took to upgrade my Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro with Clipper using a Raspberry Pi. This video is brought to you by Elegoo. They have a new product launching and we'll hear more about that at the end of the video. First thing we need for this upgrade is a Raspberry Pi. Anything from Model 3B and above should have enough compute power to pull this off. Let's head over to the Raspberry Pi website first and download their all-in-one OS creation tool. Once it's installed, open up the OS creation tool. From here, we can pick the operating system that we want to flash to the SD card. From the menu, select Specific Purpose OS, then 3D Printing, then Mainsail OS, and finally the 32-bit Mainsail OS version. Next, insert your Raspberry Pi SD card and select it from the storage menu. Click the gear cog and enable the local host option. This will make it easier to find your Raspberry Pi on your network. Also, enable SSH, fill in the desired username and password, and set up your wireless network credentials. Now we can write the OS image to the micro SD card. When that's complete, the program will prompt you that it's safe to remove the card. Insert it into your Pi and leave it unplugged for now. Now we need to flash the firmware on the printer itself. This lets Clipper have full control of the machine and lets the Raspberry Pi do all the computing on its much more powerful chip. Navigate to the GitHub page linked in the description. Big thanks to user the Feral Engineer for sharing this on his GitHub. Here we can find the printer config and firmware files. I'll be using the front USB port on the Neptune 3 Pro, so I'll download the firmware for that here. Copy the firmware to the root directory of a freshly formatted SD card. Then insert this into your printer while the power is off. Power on the printer and after a minute the firmware will be flashed. Then power the machine off. You can also safely disconnect the screen as Clipper doesn't support it. But don't worry, we can control the printer from any device on the network, even your smartphone. Now we can plug in the Pi and connect it via USB to the machine and power them on. To access the main cell front end hosted on the Raspberry Pi, we navigate to raspberrypi.local in our web browser. There's one final thing we need for the connection between Clipper and the printer to be made, and that's to provide an accurate printer config file. Head back to the GitHub page linked in the description, select the printer.cfg file, and copy the code. Navigate to the Machine tab in Mainsail and create a new file named printer.cfg. Paste the code, then scroll up to the top of the file and edit the virtual SD card path to this. Switch Pi for whatever you chose as your username in the OS config tool when making the mainsail OS image. This is where all the advanced settings for your printer are stored, similar to how the EEPROM works on a traditional Marlin firmware. Now we can save the config and restart the firmware. While we're here in the machine tab, it's a good idea to update our fresh install. And that's it, we're now running Clipper on our Neptune 3 Pro. From here you can run a mesh bed level using the command bed underscore mesh underscore calibrate and adjust your Z offset accordingly. You can continue to use your printer as usual or you can begin the tuning process using the documentation and walkthroughs on the official Clipper site to both increase your print speed and quality. I hope this simplified guide helps you begin your Clipper journey, and I'd love to see how dialed in you guys can make your Neptune 3 Pros. Feel free to tag me over on Instagram or TikTok. Thanks for watching, and happy printing. Now, a message from our sponsor, Elegoo. Thank you, Kickstarter backers, for helping us introduce Jupiter to the world. 
now we are back with our brand new creation, Vecta. You can bring your biggest ideas to life with ease. The spacious working area of Vecta lets you engrave on large surfaces with precision and perfection. Vecta can be your style shaper and your soulmate. From woodwork to leather, Vecta delivers ultra-fine and detailed engraving every time. Whether you are a professional player or a life explorer, Vecta can always turn your imagination into reality. With Vecta, you can now engrave and create without any worries. The smoke filtering exhaust ensures that harmful particles are trapped before they have a chance to escape, ensuring you to breathe easy while you work. You can bring your favorite games to life in a whole new way, with personalized touches that make them uniquely yours. Vecta is more than just a tool. It's a companion that understands your needs and shares your passion for imagination. Its intuitive interface makes it easy for you to get started, giving you the freedom to express your creative ideas in any way you choose. So, if you're ready to take on new challenges and push the boundaries of what's possible, then go for it. It's time to unleash your creativity and let Fecta be your guide. Join the Fecta community and be a part of a new generation of DIY makers who are not afraid to experiment, innovate, and create. We are Eligu. Let's bring Fecta to life.